Hello crafters, it's Ashley with AMCX Studio and we are back with another Canva tutorial. If you've been collecting clip art pieces over the last few years from Design Bundles or Creative Fabrica because let's be real here, those sites come through with the freebies and you're unsure of kind of what you can do with those clip art pieces, let me turn you on to a Canva hack. You can upload those clip art inside of Canva to create your very own sticker sheets and in this video I'm going to show you how. Our first step is going to be grabbing our favorite clip art in order to get it sticker ready. I'm going to be using this Kawaii S'mores clip art set that I bought a few years ago. I just feel like it kind of screams summer between the backyard barbecues, the midnight s'mores. It's perfect. After collecting our clip art, what we're going to want to do is go on over to canva.com. So our Cricut Print and Cut settings limit us to a 6.75 by 9.25 space. So we need to create that canvas first before we can move forward. Now in order to create a canvas, what we need to do is go to the top right corner where it says create a design. Canva is automatically going to default it to pixels. We're going to use this drop down menu and we're going to change it to inches. Now we're going to put in our 6.75 by 9.25 measurements here. And we're going to click on create a design. It's going to populate a blank canvas document. Now that we're here, what we can do is go ahead and drop in all of our clip art pieces. Now you guys can do this one of two ways. You can either drag from the folder and drop it directly into Canvas, which is my preferred method, or you can use the left hand navigation, go over to uploads, and then use upload media button and browse for your clip art pieces. Dragging your clip art onto the screen is kind of going to give you a result that looks like this. What you want to do now is resize these images in order to fill your canvas properly. So now that our designs are spaced out, what we need to do now is create our offset. In order to do that, what we're going to do first is change the background so that we can see exactly what we're doing in real time. In order to change out the background, we're going to select the canvas box itself and at the top left hand side of the um, the toolbar, we're going to click on this rainbow box which is our background color. Now there are two different colors that you can use that I kind of like flip flop between and it's going to be the black or this light gray here. Either one of them really is going to help. Um, depending on your monitor, you might want to go with black just so that you can see exactly what it is that we're looking at. Total personal preference. So now that our background has changed, we need to start adding in those offsets. What we're going to do is select our clip art piece and you're going to notice that the toolbar at the top has changed. We're going to go ahead and select edit image. This is going to bring you up different things that you can do to that particular clip art. Now we're looking for one thing in particular and it's the shadow. So go ahead and type that into the search bar and it'll pull up. So this is what the shadow menu looks like. There are a few different options that you can choose from, but in order to create the offset, we're going to go ahead and go with the glow. When you select glow, you're going to notice that the button itself has changed. There's that little slider box with the like the radio dials. We're going to tap on that and this is going to bring up the settings for glow. Now glow creates a gradient behind your image and we don't necessarily need the full on gradient. It's really neat in some circumstances, but in this one, we really need solid colors. So what we're going to do first is change the color. We want to see it in white. And when we go to print our stickers, we need that outer ring to be white. So we select white. Now we need to adjust these settings here. We're going to drop the blur down to zero and we're going to increase the transparency to hundred because we don't want it see through. This is going to create a nice solid outline around our clip art. So this is a part that's going to be really up to you guys. Between personal preference, the type of clip art that you're uploading, the size of the outline is really going to depend heavily on those two items. For this particular clip art set, I found that nine looked really good. One thing that you guys want to keep in mind, uh, anything that has little pieces that kind of like float away like this marshmallow set with the heart around it, you really want to make sure to thicken up the lines. When a customer or you go to peel these things off of the sticker sheets it might lead to tearing so having a thicker outline in those thin spots is going to help maintain the stickers integrity when they go to peel it. So now that we have the numbers that work for us in this clip art set what we're going to do is apply those same numbers to all of the clip art pieces inside of this document. I'll be right back. So now that we have those settings applied to everything, I want to fill up this canvas a little bit more. So I'm going to take the top pieces and kind of fill in everything with a lot smaller versions of those clip art pieces. I'll show you what I mean. 
So I ended up duplicating our marshmallows and our graham crackers and created smaller pieces of them and they're down here. I think that it fills the canvas nicely and it just looks so cute. So now that we have our sticker sheet filled out, what we need to do is download this thing in order to upload it into Cricut Design Space. Now I have Canva Pro. Canva Pro allows me to download this without any background at all, which is helpful in creating a seamless transition from Canva into Cricut. If you guys don't have Canva Pro, it's no big deal because we could still complete this task. So going on up to the top right corner where it says share, we're going to hit that button and it's going to drop down a menu. What we need to do is go to download. Now a PNG image is going to give you the best quality. If you have more than one, you can pick which one you want to download, but then we go to download. Now pulling up Cricut Design Space, what we're going to do is go to upload. It's going to bring up a page that looks like this, and we're going to go to upload image. Now I've been playing with this thing, so mine's already in there, but I'm going to show you how you can do it. So we're going to go to browse, and right here is our marshmallows. We're going to open this up, and we're going to select complex. This is going to allow us to remove the background and make sure that all of the cute little gradients, designs, things like that, nothing gets lost when we go to move forward. Now this is where you're going to have to play with things. If you don't have the Canva Pro account, you're going to want to zoom in so that we can see the detail of our marshmallows or our clip art and we can see this edge piece. Now normally selecting this is just going to remove the background. but if you look closely, there's a little bit of a faint outline and we can adjust that and remove that as much as possible. So we're gonna hit undo and in this menu here on the left hand side, we're gonna click more options. We can adjust the color tolerance, which is going to pull out more of that gray around the clip art pieces. In order to get the best look, this is something that you're gonna have to play with. 50 looks like it took out all of our outline and we definitely don't want that. So we're just gonna hit undo and we're going to go with 25 and see if that works. I'm happy with the results. Now this is an area that you might have to play with a little bit, but that undo button works like a dream and it is no big deal. So we're going to apply and continue and this is going to present us with two different options. So what we're gonna do is go to print and cut. You're gonna wanna fill out your image name and your tags and think about what you would think of in two years from now because you never know there's no guarantee that you're gonna remember the exact image name but these tags though these tags will save you selecting it, it you should see a little circle pop up and that's gonna let you know that you do indeed have that image selected and we're gonna drag it and add it to our canvas so now that it's on our canvas you might see Cricut Design Space pop up an error code and that's just letting you know that hey the image is too big now we did set it in Canva the correct size however Cricut Design Space has been kind of odd with importing images either too big or too large. So we can click on that and it's going to show us the warning and we can just readjust after. So now that our stickers are exact size that we need them, we can go ahead and go through the make it process. Now this is the area that's really important. When you go to send it to your printer, what you want to do is turn off the bleed and use the system dialog box. Using the system dialog box is going to allow you to make changes to your printer settings. This is going to let you change the quality of the print, the paper settings. Make sure you select the correct printer and the settings for your particular paper. A lot of paper will come with certain settings that they recommend for your printer. So be sure to check with your sticker paper to make sure that you're using the correct setting. Now my sticker settings, I'm going to go ahead and use a plain paper the quality, I'm going to drop that over to high. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it's going to send it to my printer and we'll be back. So now that our stickers are printed off, what we're going to do is pop this onto our Cricut mat and load it into our machine. Now I do want to note that you're going to want to select your base material before you hit make it. I'm going to go with the sticker paper removable. I hope this video has opened up the door for you to let you know that you can use those adorable clip art sets that you've been collecting over the last few years and really make them work for you. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you share it with a fellow crafter or clip art lover. Let them know that there are things that they could do with those clip art pieces that they may not have known. And if you love this Canva tutorial, I think you'll really like this one here. Until next time, guys.